the trans folks often face the most discrimination in the LGBTQ plus community. So it's really important that we get these rights protected for them. Under current Guam law, amending birth certificates to reflect gender identity comes with hurdles, like proof of gender-affirming surgery. So it's just another layer of hurdles that folks have, not only when seeking employment, but also potentially seeking housing, um, even just travel. For LGBTQ plus rights advocates Isabella Olalia and Rokin Shanko with Equality Guam, it's a high hurdle that needs to be changed. It's why the group is speaking out in support of a bill that would make it easier to change the legal sex and name on birth certificates. Bill 86, authored by Senators Will Parkinson and Roy Kanata, would strike out the surgical requirement. Already gender affirming care is really hard to access. Yeah. And it's also important to remember that having those gender affirming surgeries um, is a personal choice, right? Yeah. So you don't always have to have it to affirm your transness and who you are and how you identify and how you choose to express yourself. So. The measure would also require the court to seal records of the change and the original birth certificate. It allows them to live like any other person in our society. And without the costly condition of gender transition or fear of discrimination. Deep is Nesmu, you know, like what's Truly. going on with my life and how I need to navigate the world and just make it a better place for myself or for other people to exist when it's really no inconvenience to others. Um, I, I really just want them to ask themselves like, why, why do you want to make it difficult for these other people? For more resources, you can check out Equality Guam on Instagram. Matsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.